What up, YouTube? My name is Jordan Lance, and welcome back to Supercar Jordan. Now, as you know, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, even hit that bell. All right, so as you know, last video, we gave the update on the McLaren, the Mac Daddy, the 570S Monster. Today, this video, of course, it's the same day. I just made the video five seconds ago, but I'm showing it to you on a different day. So, this time, we're gonna update on the 426 Whipple 3.0 Monster Red Eye build. So, let me just tell you where the car is at right now, what's getting done to it, um, and kind of where we're headed and kind of the timeline that we're looking at. So, right now the car is at Carlin Fabrication, which is a fabricating shop. Um, they have already put in a 8.5 roll cage uh, painted it red, which is sweet. They put a parachute on it. Um, and the next step is to build the rear end. Now, initially we were just going to do a four link suspension. Um, but that was just going to give me like a more solid rear end and it wasn't going to allow me to put big tires in the back. Um, so actually really excited to tell you guys that we're going full big tire car in the back of the red eye i mean it's going to look like the pro street cars that you see the old school pro street cars with just absolutely fat tires we're tubbing it basically so um, i'll show you a picture of a challenger here that i pulled up and it'll actually be wider than that like we're going to put 19 inch wide wheels on the back of my red eye so i mean it's going to be one of one. It's all custom work. There's no kit that you just get to set that up. You have to actually cut out the trunk for the big big wheels and tires. Um, you have to get a whole new rear diff, axles, um, sway bar, everything. Like everything's going to be custom. It's it, it's a custom back half basically. Um, so I, I'll pull up a little footage right here of somebody else doing it on theirs. Hey, guess what I'm doing? What? I am plasma cutting the crap out of a Hellcat. How crazy is that? I'm just working on doing some rough cuts, really just trying to get the main bulk of this out. The whole trunk structure, uh, the whole inner tub, everything is all gonna come out. So by the time we're done cutting with this, we're just gonna have the shell of the car. Uh, Cody's working on cutting some of the bars out. So I don't know, hopefully we'll have a big cavity in here soon. See these bolts? See that? Whoever made those needs hit in the face like repeatedly. Um, but I think there's maybe one or two other cars out there that have this done to it and I'm going to have the third. So, um, it's definitely going to be a one of one car. I mean, it's going to be an absolute freak. So, um, we're going to have a Whipple 3.0. We're going to have a 426 built engine. Um, we're going to have a built transmission. Uh, we're going to have a built rear end, big tire car. Uh, I mean, it's, it's going to, it has long, long tube headers. We're getting, I mean, it's going to be absolutely 
insane. That car is going to be just a showstopper. Um, they have to take out the fuel tank in the back. Got to cut up the trunk. I mean, we're going to have to cut the heck. He's already cut it to put the cage in, but now he's really going to have to cut it up. Um, and that thing is going to be a showstopper. It's going to run crazy at the drag strip. I mean, I just, I can't wait to get that thing back too. Man, we're going to have this monster McLaren upgraded turbo, freaking crazy sounding alien spaceship. And then we got this monster, just 426, big tire, freaking tubbed monster that we're going to have. I mean, to have those two cars, only 29 years old. I've been blessed. I've been working hard. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just extremely grateful for the opportunity to be able to own two cars like this. And I'm um, just, just getting started, guys. I'm, I'm really just getting started. I'm just going to keep grinding, hopefully motivating some of you guys out there to, uh, to go after and go get it because you can do anything you want to do in this life, man. You just got to go grind, go get it, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, a little excited right now because I just, I'm sitting here, no cars, just can't wait for my toys to come home. But process to get things done the way you want them to get done and when you're doing custom one-of-one -one stuff like I'm doing um, it takes a while so uh, I'll just be patient with my guys I, I got some pretty good guys working on my cars we got full blown performance taking care of the red eye Carlin fabrication doing some custom one-of-one -on -one work then we got my boy Gintani Jimmy and Alex always taking care of me uh, some really cool dudes that you can just see in the work that they do. They work with Daily Driven Exotics, so you know the kind of stuff they're putting out, flame throwing, spitting, just absolute monsters. So um, they really shut down SEMA, shut down the LA Auto Show. So they're, they're just putting out some crazy twin turbo event to the door SVJ shit. I mean, some stuff that like, yeah, the 570S twin turbo is gonna be crazy because it's super light, only 3,120 pounds, but uh, yeah, next level. The next one after the, these two cars is a, is a SVJ for me. So hopefully uh, they keep making that thing a few more years and uh, don't shut it down on me. But yeah, that is the update on the Red Eye guys. Time-wise, it's going to take probably... I think it's going to take six weeks for Carlin to get the, the tub done, the back half. I mean, the cage is already done, but he's got to do the back half, so... Um, yeah, that's going to be probably another six weeks. That puts us into January and then probably another six weeks to get it back to full blown, put the blower, engine, new injectors, uh, long tubes, the built trans has got to come back from the shop that it's at right now. Um, it'll be done within a couple weeks though. Um, yeah, once it, once the trans is done engines there blowers there we just got to basically put it back together uh zh tunes is going to come out and to my car in person so um yeah we're probably looking at like uh february march time frame on the red eye mclaren's going to be much faster probably about four to six weeks away from the mclaren um then you add the wrapping the car time in there you know i, I might just sack up and send it straight to be wrapped before I even mess with it. I mean, you know, I might drive it for a couple of days, make a few videos for you guys, but I might just send it to get wrapped so I get everything I want done and over with and then get the car back, actually get to drive it and enjoy it instead of, you know, back for a couple of weeks and send it again. I want to kind of be done with it. Um, and then we get the red eye back after that. So a lot of exciting things coming soon, guys. Just hang in there with me. Jordan Lance, Supercar Jordan, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.